Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Chasing up New Age Revolution. Ugh, down in the cave. <clears throat> Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day indeed to all the uh, fathers of the channel. I know there are plenty of you who are, uh, you know, who have bore children <laughs> from your loins. Uh, Father's Day today. I got I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a haul for you, and then we'll talk about the joys of fatherhood. Um, you, usually gifts are are not. We don't do gifts on on Mother's and Father's Day. Uh, it's more of a crafty thing. Uh, the kids make crafts, and by the kids make crafts, uh, the parents make crafts. But for some reason this year, uh, I got like a bag of gifts, and. And what's important, if you ever saw the Cosby Show episode, I think it's in season one, where it's Father's Day and they all give him these over-the-top bad gifts. But he likes them and he collects them in a box because the kids actually pick out, you know, the gift. Um, so apparently this year, my kids uh, picked out my gifts with the exception of one thing, which I specifically asked for. But uh, my seven-year-old is into Slipknot. <laughs> and he kept asking me if I would want a Slipknot shirt for Father's Day. And uh, of course I kept saying, well, yeah, of course I would, you know. Do I like Slipknot? Uh, no. <laughs> But, you know, he does, and uh, sure, his dad would rock the Slipknot shirt. But that didn't happen. But he did. My, so Finley, my seven-year-old, got me uh, an ACDC uh, sleeveless shirt, all of a size medium for dad, which is, which is great. And he also got me, he picked this out himself, a Kiss uh, sleeveless shirt. And I am uh, just perfectly thrilled with my my seven-year-old's selections. Uh, so we got two shirts, and Liam uh, apparently was in the mall with his mother and was walking by FY, FYE and uh, saw this <clears throat> and says uh, that he freaked out and immediately thought that it could go on my coffee table. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly where it is going to go and exactly where it is going to stay for the rest of the coffee table's life. My boy went and picked out a Funko WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart 2-pack. My boy. My baby. So, there we go. We'll have that. I'm going to put it right here on the coffee table. And that is where it is going to stay. Uh, and he immediately, as all kids do, oh, they're loose, they're loose Funkos, that's cool. As immediately as all kids do, he said, I, I didn't know if you would like it because it's newer wrestling. And I said, child, child, uh, the lesson that you will learn for now and for when you are a daddy is no matter what, it's the greatest. So I am perfectly thrilled with this. And it goes on my coffee table, which you can't see. <laughs> well, let's show you. Because you know why? Because the boy got it. And if the boy got it, then you have to see it. So there it is. Let's see. Let me see. There it goes. It's going to sit on my coffee table now. That was probably a, a horrible, uh, horrible camera work there, but all right. So, um, and then this I asked for specifically and, uh, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to, I know where I'm going to put it right now. I'm going to put it on top of the, uh, wrestling magazine stack here on the coffee table. Uh, it's, I've been getting, uh, look, I'm not, you know, I, I collected Funko at one point and then I sold many of them and just stopped. I'm done. I'm done. But I saw this in Walmart the other day, and I was like, no, I think I need to have that. And especially as I'm watching Wrestling with the Past, and we're up to the 
war to settle the score and the rock and wrestling connection. Take a look at this. It's a it's a Cindy Lauper Funko in an album cover shadow box. I love that. From the uh, She's So Unusual album. I think that is so cool. Uh, when I saw it at Walmart, I was like, what? It's got a plastic film on it that'll take me like an hour to peel off. But, um, oh, I can peel it off quicker than maybe. Nope, I can't. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take care of that. So I'm gonna set this up here. I'm gonna set that right there on the old coffee table. But I gotta get the plastic off because I, you can definitely, you can definitely tell that there's plastic on it. And I don't want plastic on it. Remember the episode of Seinfeld where George is in therapy and, is, and he's wrestling with his jacket zipper and he can't focus on the therapy? And then the therapist gets annoyed and starts to help him and then throws him out of the office? That's what's going to happen on this video, because I'm like, now I have to take this off, but I can't, because I don't have anything. Okay, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to wait, right? I'm going to wait. Ah, okay, I'm going to wait. <laughs> so that's that's it. That's And then I went to, um, I took the seven-year-old to a flea market this morning while his brother stayed home and played Fortnite with his buddy. And uh, that was kind of, uh, it, it's obviously lovely to be with the child, but taking him to a flea market's not, not the right idea. It's, it was packed, and I've, i got to like kind of hold his hand the whole time, and he does not want to walk up and down rows of stuff. I was there. It took me longer to drive there than to, than to walk around, so that, that was a bust. Um, but I got to take him, so whatever. And... Uh, before I go on, Liam, Liam, ha, Liam, and his friend have figured out how to make shorts uh, on, e on YouTube. So if you go over to uh, Liam's Ultimate Games, uh, he's got shorts of himself dancing and his buddy dancing, and uh, it's very cute and very whatever. It's it's fine, right? It's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Everybody's fine. Uh, uh, there's some stuff up on eBay. Uh, the Elf game is on eBay. Mystery Mansion is on eBay. And a, uh, you know, a spooky game from the 70s. Superstition is on eBay. The uh, Etch-A-Sketch Animator I sold uh, for 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, the New 80s Revolution is the eBay channel. I will put links below. Um, however, uh, none of this stuff is going to sell on eBay. It's going to take forever and ever and ever. So I think next week I'm going to do a subscriber appreciation uh, video where I'm going to give away some board games. And I have turned over a new shipping leaf, I promise you. Uh, Lisa E., your, um, your, your stuff is coming. Um, the person who wanted the uh, Skyhawks or Sky, who was it? Silverhawks, I think, Lunch Pal. It's coming. Um, one person already claimed the Star Wars board game. So I'm going to bring out three or four board games at a time and just be like, look, you know, who wants them? Who's coming in? Who we got? Blue. I was just coming down here to ask you. A... Could not, couldn't export video. I don't know. Why can't you? I've made tons of them and they haven't worked. So... They haven't worked? No. Well, Maybe you're making too many. Maybe you're just making like way too many shorts. Could uh, that be? Uh, well, guys. Um, well, why don't you? I, I just did my look. Look what's on the coffee table. Oh, nice. I just did my Father's Day haul. Yeah, they're loose. I didn't think they were. Uh, it'd be nice if your brother was down here, but um, yeah, garbage pail kids. They're cool. Thanks for uh, thanks for my Father's Day stuff. Appreciate you. Welcome, you Huh? Welcome, you Welcome, you are? What's that? You doing Yoda? Welcome, you are? Okay, I'm going to send you on your way. Okay. Mr. Go check out for Liam's Ultimate Games. I'm posting um, tons and tons. You're not even in the camera. I'm posting tons and tons of shorts. I'll show you one right now, actually. Yeah. Mm. Let's see here. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably delete this, but uh, uh, let me find it. Yeah, hang on. I think you just got my video copyrighted. 
Huh? You can put you can put music on shorts, but you can't put it on video. So you just messed me up there. That's fine. Bye. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll probably mute that. Um, yeah. Uh, what was I saying before the Dorcas came down? <laughs> anyway, the children. Um, show of hands. You know how many how many dads are out there? Oh, the game night. The games. Uh, uh, subscriber appreciation day. We'll we'll give away some board games. Um, show of hands. How many dads are out there? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, best experience of your life. Complicated experience of your life? Sure. Yeah, all that, you know. Um, uh, it's not easy. They're not easy. <laughs> and I don't know if, 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 I don't know if they're not easy or if like different, hang on, different, um, I have to shut the door just in case. Uh, different opinions on parenting uh, makes it not easy. I don't know. I, I think the kids are. I, I think the kids are um, perfect. Um, but when you know when you have different styles of parenting and different, not necessarily expectations, but different like um, I don't know, different ways of parenting. That's all I can all I can say. Uh, it, it, it complicates things, you know, when, so it, it, so I think it seems harder than it is. Um, yeah, you, I, I, you know, you, you can understand what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you, with, with the two kids, with, with children, I mean, you're always, like, everything kind of revolves around them. And, you know, you're, 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 the weight on your shoulders is, um, heavier than it's, than it'll ever be. And so, and, and I experienced that even more getting sick with my throat lately that like, there were days back in March and April, um, when I would just call out of work, you know, not call out of work, but I would, I would cancel all of my patients and I would just like stay in bed. And then when that became not allowed, I would leave and I'd go check into a hotel and nobody knew where I was. I, I just would get away uh, because there, there is no, there's no privacy. There is no sick time. There's, there's nothing, you know, until I, I, I tried, <clears throat> you know, f tried taking the father's day nap today. Didn't happen. Finley was drumming down here. Their mother was yelling at them. And I'm like, <sighs> you know, so I often find myself thinking about, you know, the future and, and you know, when I'll have alone time and, and when I'll be by myself. Um, and then only in moments does that sound appealing. And then the reality of, you know, you're alone because your children got older, that, that sinks in and cancels that thought out. There was one point in time when I was recording, video recording everything, uh, everything. And we have, you know, we have videos of, of, you know, Liam being born in the hospital. We have videos of his first Christmas. We have video, I mean, we have so many videos and I don't watch them anymore. Uh, I don't watch them at all. I can't. Every Christmas, Liam likes to go back and watch previous Christmases on, on video. And I can't. I can't watch them. Uh, they're too difficult. Um, you know, uh, photos. Uh, their mother used to um, print photos from Shutterfly and then put them in photo albums. And we have, I kid you not, probably 50 photo albums in our house. There's a bookshelf that has a ton of them. There's a cabinet with doors that have like 30 of them in there. And um, I won't look at them. 
I won't look there. And there was a point in time when I did and I enjoyed looking at them, but I will not look at them anymore. Um, and the photos of the children around the house, I want to upgrade because they're, they're baby photos. I want them upgraded to, you know, big, awkward Liam, goofy smile and Finley with his curly, nappy red hair. I, that's what I want to see on my walls. I don't want to see, you know, four-year-old Liam. I just can't. So whenever I get that thought of, oh man, uh, alone time, here we go. You know, I, I take it all back, you know, cause uh, the time flies. And that's been, a, that's been a cliche statement since time began, but it really does. Um, I've, I remember vividly standing in the hospital room when that kid was born, vividly standing in the hospital room when Finley was born. Um, and, and I look the same. I'm the same, they're not, right? So that's kind of weird. That's kind of like a mental, you know, kind of messes with you a little bit because, you know, we don't really age. You know, we might get a little fatter, in my case, a little skinnier. Um, our hair might turn a little gray, but we don't really age. You know, I kind of look the same 11 years ago than I did, that I do today. I certainly look the same seven years ago when Finley was born than I look today, but they don't. And that's the weird part. I look at myself, I'm the same, they're not. So they, they grow daily. And it is hard to see. It is hard to see. Um, especially with them being homeschooled. Um, they're here all the time. You know, homeschooled or, or, or mainstream school kids leave your house at 6.50 in the morning, if not sooner. And they don't come home until 3 or 3.30 or whatever. You know, of course that sounds normal to all of you, but I can't imagine. You know, they don't leave us for eight hours. They're here. So it's, um, and I have to like, I have to embrace more and I have to try to slow down time more. You know, and I can't, you can't slow down time. And they will be, uh, they will continue to grow and they will continue to age. And uh, that's, a, that's, that's a tough one. So, you know, I'm glad that I waited later in life to have children. Um, Liam's 11, I'm 47, so what does that mean? I was 36 when uh, we had him. I could have easily been 26. You know, I was with their mother when I was 23. You know, what if we had kids by 25? My child would be <laughs> uh, 22 years old. What? I'd be 47 today, a big dork making videos down here, and I'd have a 22-year-old child. Mind-blowing. So I'm definitely glad that I waited, because it would have been over by now. It would have been over by now. And none of this would have even felt the same, because he was a part of this. You know, my kids were both a part of this. Anyway, happy Father's Day. Great gifts. I'm going to get this plastic off eventually. Uh, in the middle of this video, there's going to be an edit because Liam played a song that I can't have on the video. So I'll mute that. So that's why that happened. Okay. Uh, yeah, go watch my kid twerk on Liam's Ultimate Games. Unless you're, you know, a sicko, then, then don't. But happy Father's Day from Cindy Lauper. Good night now.